If you suffer from rheumatoid arthritis and you want more information about what is best to eat, this video is for you. If you try to find information online, you will often become confused as everyone seems to be an expert these days. They will recommend you from the paleo to the carnivore, intermittent fasting, Mediterranean diet or what they call an anti-inflammatory diet. Just reading about all of this, you may wonder what is left for you to eat. In this video, I am going to break it down to the 10 best foods that you can eat and I will provide you all the scientific evidence and if you stay until the end, you will receive as a bonus one of my favorite green smoothies recipes that I share with my patients. Let's begin. Rheumatologistoncall.com If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you very much for your support. First, just a few words about rheumatoid arthritis. This is a common autoimmune disease affecting approximately 19 million all over the globe. It can cause joint pain, swelling, and significant morning stiffness. And if it's left untreated for many years, it would lead to joint deformities and disability. Not only that, but you have to take this disease seriously, as this is a systemic disease, and as I said multiple times, it can affect your heart, lungs, and eyes. And if you don't care about your joints or being in pain, I am sure you care about your heart and vision. I know you might have your traditional cuisine and it will be hard for you to match to your preferences, but using these foods in your everyday life will improve your pain, swelling and inflammation. And there is science to support what I say. Number one, berries. Blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, are all a fantastic choice. They contain antioxidants like flavonoids, quercetin, vitamin C, and fibers. Berries have the power to support your immune system and also decrease inflammation. In 2017, 300 patients with rheumatoid arthritis were surveyed about 20 commonly eaten foods. The study showed that a quarter of the patients with rheumatoid arthritis reported that they were affected by the food that they eat. Those people who ate blueberries and strawberries, so berries, felt great compared to people that were eating more desserts and they were drinking sugary drinks. Bonus! A few other enzymatic fruits like papaya, pineapple, and mango have very good effects on your body as well. Number two, vegetables. Vegetables, especially the green leafy ones, are your best friends. Broccoli, spinach, Swiss chard, kale, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, they are all very healthy. The darker the color, the more powerful they are. Why should you increase veggies in your diet? Because they are rich in antioxidants. Think about the vitamins they contain. Vitamin A, K, C, E, plus they contain a lot of fibers, as I said. Let's talk about spinach. In the same survey that I just mentioned, spinach was also shown to greatly impact how people with RA were feeling. So those who ate more spinach felt much better. Leafy greens are the base of the vegetarian and Mediterranean diet, which have great benefits for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Number three, legumes. Beans, different species, peas, endaname, garbanzo beans, lentils, soy nuts, and peanuts. They are a valuable addition to your meals. Legumes are very rich in proteins, fibers, lots of fibers, vitamin. Think about the B complex, B1, B2, B6, and lots of minerals like iron, calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. Plus, legumes, because of the high content of protein and fiber, will avoid the insulin spikes and you will avoid being hungry. So, they will keep your gut busy and in this way, they will lower your risk to develop obesity and diabetes. And that is a plus, correct? Legumes are the staple food in the Mediterranean diet. 
fibers from legumes will keep your gut microbiota happy and those bacteria will produce an anti-inflammatory compound called short-chain fatty acids and in this way your inflammation and pain will decrease. Do you eat enough legumes every day? One study showed that people in the Mediterranean countries consume between 8 and 23 grams of legumes every day. In contrast, Americans consume just about 5 grams a day. So start increasing the amounts of legumes that you eat every day. In one of my other videos, I shared the food and lifestyle pyramid for people with rheumatoid arthritis. Check this out. It was to make it easier for my rheumatoid arthritis patients. And I have designed this lifestyle pyramid to help them. It includes the amounts and types of foods needed to prevent and reduce the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis and reduce the inflammation and pain related to this disease. And it was adapted to include scientifically proven foods with anti-inflammatory properties. And it will exclude foods that can potentially cause more inflammation. In addition, there are other recommendations about supplements, exercise, and mindfulness, which are very helpful to my patients. And they have found it very easy and very beneficial. So I hope that you will find it the same way. Fish, sardines, salmon, mackerel, trout, cod, herring, all of these fishes, they have a high content of omega-3 fatty acids. Try to avoid shellfish as their content in omega-3 fatty acids is very small. Now, why should you eat fish? The high omega-3 fatty acids are proven to decrease inflammation in the body and they decrease pain and swelling. And they also can decrease the need to use more anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen or naproxen. Now, what if you don't like to eat fish? Then you can take fish oil or omega-3 supplements. In my video, The Best Supplements for Rheumatoid Arthritis, you will find a lot of information about the scientific evidence for the use of fish oil or omega-3 supplements for rheumatoid arthritis, or you can see this in separate videos where I talk about fish oil for arthritis or fish oil for rheumatoid arthritis. Number five, nuts. Nuts are my favorites. If you are not allergic to nuts, then you should consider them as part of your nutrition plan. Walnuts, cashews, pecans, pistachios, almonds, or hazelnuts, they all taste amazing. Plus, nuts are a fantastic source of fiber, vitamin E, and many micronutrients like selenium or magnesium or copper. Nuts can decrease your cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Although they are high in fats, and some of you will be concerned about that, the fats are monounsaturated fats and they are proven to have great benefit for your health. The first level of evidence regarding the benefits of eating nuts comes from a study that was published in 2013. They show that eating a Mediterranean diet supplemented with a mix of nuts, about 30 grams per day, which contain walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts, it did reduce the risk for heart disease with 30% in about five years of intervention. I mean, aren't you impressed? If you're not allergic to nuts, as I said, start eating one handful of nuts every day. Number six. Chia seeds. Yes, chia seeds are an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, but their biggest benefit is probably their high content in fibers, about 10 grams per serving, which will fill you up, will help you control your weight, and as more fiber you get in your diet, that will keep the gut microbes very happy, they will produce more short-chain fatty acids, which will decrease, again, the inflammation in your body. Number seven, olive oil. Yes, the ancient olive oil is more than a cooking oil. You most likely heard about the benefits of using olive oil on your heart or decreasing the risk of heart attacks and cholesterol. 
But have you heard about the benefits of olive oil in arthritis? Olive oil contains oleic acid and oleocanthal, both with natural anti-inflammatory properties. Olive oil is one of the base constituents of Mediterranean diet. There are numerous studies about the benefit of the Mediterranean diet with supplemented olive oil to prove that they are beneficial to people with inflammation. My recommendation is to buy good quality olive oil that is cold pressed, unfiltered, and use it every day for your salads. Number eight, whole grains. Quinoa, wild rice, brown rice, gluten-free oats, buckwheat, corn, or rye are very good addition to your diet. They are high in fiber, which will again help you feel fuller for a longer period of time will lower your cholesterol and many times prevent constipation. Eating whole grains will decrease the inflammation and the signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, in our days, many breads, cereals, crackers, desserts, and pastries are made with refined grains. So stay away from them and choose whole grain products. Number nine, fermented foods. Why fermented food? Because they are a natural source of probiotics. So again, that will help your gut to decrease inflammation. Here you have two options. Number one, fermented dairy like yogurt, kefir, or cultured sour cream. So be aware that not all sour cream contains living bacteria. And the other source of fermented foods like sauerkraut, fermented cabbage, pickles, fermented cucumbers, or kombucha, which is a popular fermented sweetened tea. People around the globe have figured out how to ferment about everything, from beans to fruits, vegetables, grains, and even meat or fish. So start incorporating those fermented foods into your diet. Number 10, spices. Turmeric, garlic and ginger are more than just spices that will enhance the flavor of your foods. Many people across the globe have used these spices for many centuries for their antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties. This is how they gain so much popularity. In rheumatoid arthritis, there are also many studies that will prove the benefits of this to decrease inflammation and inflammatory markers and also decrease pain. So instead of adding more salt to your food, which is, by the way, something that will increase inflammation, add more spices. And now let me share with you the bonus recipe of the green smoothie that I share with my patients. You should add fresh kale, an orange, a medium apple, and a cucumber, you can add lime, and a little bit of ginger, as well as a teaspoon of chia seeds and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. You can wash and chop all these vegetables. You can put them in the blender without the chia seeds and then blend it and enjoy it. Now, when it comes to managing the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, what you eat is very important in addition to stress management and exercise. It is also very important to have a physician or a nutritionist who will make a nutrition plan for you. Here at Rheumatologist on Call, we take pride in our specialized and integrative approach, which is tailored specifically for people living with rheumatoid arthritis. Our focus goes beyond just treatment. We prioritize education on crucial aspects such as nutrition. We offer online courses and personalized physical therapy sessions designed to meet your individual needs. We treat the whole body and the mind. We treat the patients, not their disease. If you or someone that you know wants to improve sooner, please visit our website or contact our office directly to schedule a consultation. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you soon.
rheumatologistoncall.com.